Iron Peace Slippers here, and I'm in a villa, Indiana, picking up this old RJ for restoration. We got Dwayne here, he's gonna sell it to me. There's Dwayne right here! <laughs> We're just going over it, a little bit of the history on it. Nathan Botcher! Hey, I just sold your wheel horse, I just yeah. bought off you. Apparently he's got a YouTube channel too. Yeah. So he, he bought it for a year ago, so now he's passing it on to me. <laughs> Yeah, and I've, I've been he looking for one. Because he does got a YouTube channel. He, he just started. <laughs> well, that's cool. He'll, right. Maybe he'll get some subscribers. Right, right. But yeah, I've been looking for one for, for a little while now. We finally found one and came down here and got it. Slippy, i seen your Harley 90 on there. The yeah. AMF, i seen yeah. that on there. I thought, son of a bitch, that don't look too bad. Well, I restored that too. That looks good. Yeah, thank you. So yeah, here it is. And then I see you guys up to Portland on another video. Yeah, you guys true. were riding the bikes there, yeah, and I think I guess there. we were on that the AMF. Were yeah, you on that? Yeah. Cool. The old vintage bikes. Exactly. And then I seen a pachinko, pachinko segment. Yeah. Yeah. We restored that was some of those. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah. Restore <laughs> a lot of old stuff, bringing it back to life. That cracks me up. Man. Yeah. Alrighty. Hey, what about those motors over there? Anything yeah. interesting in on that? Got some other old stuff over here. I don't know. I, I didn't bring enough money, so. Oh no, the the big Briggs I don't Check want. Check out some stuff. The big Briggs I don't want. You can have that. This one here I want to keep. And these here, I picked these up at a garage sale. These, these here are key makers. Wow, look at those. Yeah, you, you make your own keys out of them. Crazy. I got two of them. I figured, heck, with both of them, like, I might be able to get make yeah, one. Make one good one out of two. <laughs> I mean, that was the plan. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know who made them. I don't know what brand. Yeah. But God, I, I, I think I got them for a steal, ten dollars a piece. There you go. I figured, God, the motors were ten bucks. Yeah. But I like those old things. This thing looks like an alien. You know what I mean? Yeah. The movie the Alien. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> They're cool. A whole lot about it. I bought it off a of buddy over in Garrett. Real uh, he, it is getting sparks. Not a lot though, you know what I mean? I squirted yeah, some gas spark. in there. Yeah, real weak spark. Alright, we got the old RJ58. We're gonna fire it up, take it for a little cruise. <laughs> well, here we go. Again, Dwayne, nice right, meeting you. Thanks for hooking it up with the tractor. Now I'm gonna get back to the home. Start ripping into that baby. <laughs> There's your supper. Be careful, guys. All right, I'm take care. Here. See ya. What's up? Kerwin P. Slippers here and ran into a little hiccup with the uh, RJ and I'm here with Jordan who turns out has been trying to track this baby down for 15 years. So he got a hold of us and he's going to trade me these two for his old one back. So what do you guys think of that? Pretty crazy, right? So Jordan, uh, how did you know that this was yours and what's so important about it that you wanted to trade me two for? Well, you know, the 15 years ago when I gave it away, I 
bought this tractor when I was about eight from a guy, and it sat in his back in his woods for almost 20 some years. So before I even got it, it was sitting 20 years before that. And when I got it, it didn't have the fenders on it, it didn't have a motor on it, it didn't have a hood. The uh, front wheels were completely in the dirt, and I brought her home. The front end was stuck, the rear end was stuck. So I decided, well, let's put some diesel fuel in the transmission. Me and my dad did that, and we got her freed up. And then I drove to Southern Alloy to a good friend of mine to uh, get this RJ hood that's on there. And I think I gave a hundred and a half for it or whatever. Um, and then I, I talked to a friend. I said, well, I need a full horse Kohler. I said, I didn't care if it was a K90, K91, whatever it would work. So we got the engine, and the engine, both engines were completely worn out. So, you know, my dad says, well, let's rebuild these engines. And so we went through them, the cranks from the connecting rod, uh, everything was good, but the piston was all worn out. So we checked it with the feeler gauge, and we're like, well, let's try some oversized rings in it. So we took 20, uh, 20 over piston rings in it, and we, we filed them down a little bit to make them fit. And then I went on eBay, and I had got a uh, coil offline. I don't know if it was a generic coil or expensive one or what, but it worked. It had a good spark. I drove it. And then this tractor's probably been painted probably at least four or five, six times with spray cans. Yes, you know, I was knee high to a grasshopper. I did what I could at the time. Um, when I got the tractor, this, if you look back here, this notch in the frame is another reason I know it's mine. This was all welded up in here. So to separate it when I had to get the transmission unstuck, that was all welded and I had a grinder smooth to get that out of there when we work working on the diesel fuel, trying to get the transmission on stuff. But uh, so yeah, my dad rebuilt the engine. The decals came from online when I got them, they were oversized. The Red Factory RJ decals are half, supposed to be half size and they're way too big. So that was kind of the thought tail sign that it was mine. And then the other thing was, is the overspray on the muff, uh, how about the muff can on there? <laughs> had uh, overspray on there, I knew that was it. Uh, the sawtooth front tires, that was on there when I sold it. It had the black rims all the way around. It had a black seat originally. Um, the back here on the pin for the hitch, I had used Instead of a bolt, I had used a three-quarter cold rolled with some shaft collars. That was something I had put on there. Um, it's just, you know, it's my dad worked on it, and you know, my dad's getting up there now. Um, my grandma sat on this tractor before she passed away. And she, you know, she's, she's she's gone now, not with us no more. So this was something special for me, and it's a very sentimental. I have had a chance to buy it back a few years ago, probably about five years ago now. And I just ran short on cash, I couldn't do it. I, I was very upset about it and uh, lost track of it. And then good old Slippers here bought it. That's right. And I, I got, a hold, got a hold of you and here we are with three of them. You know? Yep, came down from Wisconsin all the way. And I didn't want to sell it because I've been looking for one for myself. And he said, how about I trade you these two that I got? said, hey, that'll work as long as I can have one to restore at least. Now I can make a good one out of these two bad boys. All right, so uh, guess we better shake on it to make sure it's a done deal. Woohoo! All right, yeah. I'm pretty happy with these two. I know he's happy. But you can check me out. Doing a series of restoration videos on these two bad boys. And Jordan's got a channel too. Uh, what's the name of your channel? Check me out on Jordan Strike. I can post a lot of videos up. I got wheel horses, I got snowmobiles, chainsaws, any tra every tractor. We got Jacobson's, Gilson's. I'm going to post a lot more videos up. This one, you'll see this in videos. You can check this one out. You can follow it along. I'm going to take it to a tractor show actually in three weeks from now. And, uh, you know, we're going to have a good time with it for sure. That's awesome. Yeah, he's got all kinds of stuff going on over there. So, uh, I guess this about a wrap. Hey, 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 what's going on out here? What is this? What are these things multiplying? Yeah, they're like gremlins. You throw water on them oh, and they start Oh, now there's three of them. 
Well, this one's at least going back with him. They're all going away, all three of them. I want them out of here. You're gonna have to store these two babies now for a while. You're taking up more room. <laughs> Small. You won't even notice that they're here, I promise. Flippers. I'm gonna kill you. Uh. <laughs> well, I suppose I wouldn't appreciate it. I'm gonna go right. home and cry to my baby here. Load it up. <laughs> well then, I guess, uh, there's only one thing left for me to say, and there's your supper. Load that thing up. Quit your crying and load it up. <laughs> I suppose. Right, here we are. Got both of them right here. First things first. I had to uh, take the wheel keys out of this one so we could roll it around because the trans is locked up. That's just so we could push it. I'm gonna take the engine off of it and then we're gonna park this one outside. And later on, we're gonna do a full restoration of restoring it back to original. But my main focus right now is this little one right here that we're gonna do a custom job to. And I know if you're one of these people that are like, want it restored to original and all this stuff, might as well turn the video off right now because I'm gonna be doing some crazy stuff to it that you may not like. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna pull the engine off this baby and roll it outside. Engine's out, time to push it outside. You're not gonna see this one for a, for a long time. It'll get its own series. It'll get its own little series on a full restoration back to original. The original engine and all that too. Got rid of that predator. So now the focus is on this baby. Time to start stripping it apart. This will be fun. Luckily, uh, Jordan gave me an, an extra hood that's in really good shape. No dents in it or anything. All I gotta do is weld this up right here and weld some straps in there for the gas tank. Other than that, pretty much ready to go. On that hood that I had originally on that one, it was all dented up, had all kinds of dents and dings. So that would have taken a long time trying to knock all that stuff out of there. But now we don't have to worry. Just gotta do a little welding. <laughs> okay. First things first, let's pull the engine off of this baby. Simple enough, right? You thinking? Yep. I'm gonna pull these little plow brackets off. Make it a little easier on myself. I don't have a plow for this one. Chances are, if I can find a plow, it'll be going on the other one that's original. This baby's not gonna be that much original. I don't know, we'll see. I'm just talking crazy. Pull this baby off. Came off pretty easy. Getting it out might be another story. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, it's out. Now I got another engine coming from my Uncle Pat. That's got all the covers and everything on it and the right starter cup because somebody put a different starter cup on there so that engine we're not even going to mess with i'm getting one from uncle pat and we'll go we'll rebuild that engine again when we go to do the other restoration but this one's getting a different engine i don't know what engine i'm going to put on it yet but we we got a couple ideas in mind all right now time to take this hood off Looks like somebody put a Tecumseh snowblower gas tank up in there. That'll be coming out too. But we're not using this hood anyway, so it don't really matter. Not worried about the hardware, because I'm going to get all stainless. Plus, I don't even know. These ones are long. 
washers, no lock nuts or anything on it. Come on, miss this little guy. nice about these, not a lot to them. Unlike that 10XL that I did, there's all kinds of stuff. Taking out tons of stuff, getting all that stuff powder. Alright, baby's out. That's how you rig up a gas tank inside there, huh? That's what. That's probably what I'm going to do. No, I don't think so. We'll do it directly. All right, this hood's junk. But I'm sure somebody might want it. They could probably fix it all up. Well, I'm not gonna be worried about that. So the steering wheel on here is rusted on right, right in here. So I'm gonna try and get this whole steering assembly out so we can put it on the vise. Try and knock that pin out. Probably gonna have to heat it and quench it to get it off. Seat should come off pretty easy, it looks like. Love that sound. Ugh. Oh, not gonna fit. This transmission's got issues too doesn't go into a couple of the gears so you guys are going to be lucky that we'll be tearing it all apart and going through it the other one I had the transmission was fine so I probably wasn't even going to have to take it apart or go through it at all all right seats off on to the next component Let's see if we get the steering wheel out now Jack it up in the front, see what we're working with. Alright, looks like you just rammed a bolt. Hope this doesn't break. Okay, I don't think it's coming out. I think it's just spinning in there because there was no nut on the other side. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, it's just a bolt. Just a little bolt rammed in there. Got a lot of room in here to, to hit this. And then when I turn the wheel, it kind of turns the bolt. Not fun. All right, Let's try something else. All right, I took the wheel off, make it easier on myself, so. There it is, out. Look at that, all bent up. Wheel clips missing from this side. This thing's really hodgepodge together. I think I might've got ripped off on this deal. All right, hopefully this one just pulled out. Oh, look at that, at least, at least we're getting lucky here. Hopefully. Come on. Oh, thank you. Well, that came out easy. Now we can put it in the vise. Try and knock this pin out of there. I don't even know what's going on on that side. And look at how rusted that is. Terrell's probably gonna have to give me a hand with that. Before I mess with that steering wheel, cause that's probably gonna be pretty involved. Take this rest of this little piddly stuff off. Get this clip off of here. Good old counter pin. My worst nemesis, counter pins. Pale nuts and pale nuts and counter pins, because those always give you a little trouble coming off. They're definitely not your pal. I don't know why they call them pale nuts. <laughs> All right, got a little steering mechanisms off. Zip this off. 
Whoa. Now this deck lift, I'm not putting back on. I'm taking it off and we'll put it on this one over here because that's missing the deck lift and I, I, don't, I don't plan on putting any attachments on this one. So I'm not gonna need it on here, so it worked out good. Pitch. And again, this looks like it's going to be trouble getting off too. Looks like it's pretty frozen on there. We'll give it a couple wraps and see what happens. I lubed it up, got it to spin a little bit. I took the set screw out already before I even started messing with it. That came out pretty simple. Oh, sweet. Sanded it down, but might be a little. Might have to do a little more sanding towards the end here. So now I got some more rods to pull off. You don't want to see me get those cotter pins out. That'll take 20 minutes, so I'm gonna pull those cotter pins out, take that little rod off, and then get that little collar off and pull that stuff off. I'll let you watch me pull it off after I do the hard stuff. <laughs> All right, rods off, cotter pins are off, sanded that down, collar came right off. We're gonna save that. Gonna save this brake pedal. This, this is gonna go with that, so I'll put it with that so we don't get confused. Man, this thing, this thing, look at it. There's like nothing left to it. I just took a few things off. Pretty sweet. All the rest of the stuff I'm going to take off is probably just this brake band, and then that'll be it for now. Okay, got the steering wheel over here, but I'm going to need a hand because somebody's going to have to hold it, and somebody's going to have to try and drive this pin out, keep this thing from bouncing because putting it in the vise is just going to bounce. So I'm going to have to call Terrell. Terrell! Terrell! Arrow. What do you want, slippers? Oh, I, I need a hand over here with the steering wheel. I'm putting these parts away. I'm busy. Well, you got a second, right? You are a pest. <laughs> what are you doing here? Uh, I'm trying to drive this pin out right here, but... Well, drive it out. Well, I'm going to need a hand. Somebody's going to have to support it, and somebody's going to have to whack it, because it keeps bouncing. Here's the hand you're going to get. Well, that's not the hand that I was talking about. This is going to be the hand that strangles the neck of slippers. These uh, are the hands. No. Just All right. Me. You know what? I'll I'll do it because you were hitting your hands and stuff probably. Yeah, I don't want to mess these hands up. All right. So hold this like that. Right, and I'm going to have it because we got to support it against something. I was trying to beat on it a little bit, but... It was bouncing around. I hope this hammer don't slip. It better not. I hope I, I hope this hammer don't slip. Oh, it hit you. <laughs> oh, I don't know, slip dog. I don't know. I don't know what he drove in there. I don't know what's in here either. It kind of looks soft though. Let me try this smaller punch. You know they never make the size that you need. Oh, mm -hmm. this thing is bending. Yeah. He already did that for me, so. I don't. You need that size that's right in between those two. I, if it's got a roll pin in there. It's not a roll pin. No? No. I wonder if we could drill it out. It's possible, because it looks pretty soft. All right, let's try drilling it. And if that don't work, we may have to heat and quench. Do the heat and quench. To expand well, gonna, and contract it. Probably have to heat and quench to get it off. Is this anyway. steering wheel even any good? I don't know. It looks pretty beat up. It's missing all this stuff. Well, we're only heating it right here, so it shouldn't really... The heat shouldn't transfer far enough to ruin this, hopefully. Oh, we'll keep a wet rag nearby. Well, let's try drilling it. Yeah. 
This is more than, I got parts to put away. This is more than I anticipated. <laughs> you and your projects. They're for you to do, not for me to do. Well, I'm doing it. I just need a hand here and there. All right, I'm going to try to drive whatever they got in there. I'm going to try to drive it out from the other side. See if we can get it to move. Yeah, I'm going to try to drive whatever they got in there. I'm going to try to drive it out from the other side. See if we can get it to move. I can move a, a smidgen unless I'm just... No, it ain't moving. It ain't, it ain't budging. All right, I got a long drill bit. Let's see what we got in here. All right, slippers. Oh, that's not going well. It's drilling. Want to try the other side maybe? Or? Kind, of yeah. already, kind of already a little divot in there. Let's nice. get the uh, nice sharp bit. Sharp bit always helps. Well, really works good. Long, whoa. good is that Shot tap magic. Him. Need some of that stuff. Well, you need a long. Look at we need a long bit to get past this. Good thing I got one. in that stupid punch. Nothing's moving. And it seems like it's something's hard in there now because it wants to it doesn't want to drill anymore. Yeah it looks like we got to the center. We had a punch in there. Let's heat it and quench it and see what happens. Pretty hot. Ooh, that blue plate. Too hot for TV. Oh. That's why we're on the internet. Just have to turn the water on, Slipper. You know what I need in my car? 
gas pedal, brake pedal, and steering wheel. And an 8 track player. Yeah, gotta have that. You have to get the 8 track player. Gotta bring back the 8 track. Oh, yeah. Nothing better than going down the road and then having the music slow down, and then the next thing is eating the, eating the tape. Uh, and you're pulling that tape out of that tape player like a tapeworm. Uh, All right. Once you're down? Yeah. Fast, as fast as you can. Uh, we had a bucket of water, it would have been the best. To, I don't have a painting that big, I don't think. I think I got a pan we could have put it in. Peter Pan? We'll try this first. what happens. All right, before you make us turn my shop into a built-in pool. Yeah, it's pretty hot up there. I wouldn't mind going swimming right now. All right, let's see what happens. Bring Hopefully. your old arthritic hands over here. Hopefully success. That's what we're looking for, baby. Oh, it's hot. It's hot. Let's try this crappy punch I got. Yeah, I think it's about done. Yeah. Nothing. I want this one. This one's kind of free. Oh. I don't know. It moved. Something moved. Bottoming out. Okay, shave a little off that punch. Uh, I think you're gonna get the punch stuck in there now. This is. This isn't working. Hold that, hold that! I try shaving that punch down a little bit so it'll fit in there nice. Stick in here. Oh, look, it's moving on the shaft. Look. Once we get that pin out, it'll come up. Huh? Get the air hammer. Where is it? Well, what do we got to lose? Try this. Like I said, you could always make one. Piece of round stock. Yeah, look at that. Oh, looks like that pin just broke. Oh yeah, look at it. So we're all, it's all, out. it's all not centered. Yeah. What the heck was in there? Oh, that other whatever was on the other side fell out too now. Sweet. Crank it in, try and there it is. Making music. It's like a violin. What is that, Kansas? It's music to my ears. Dust in the wind. All right, steering wheels off. You can probably clean this up. What am I gonna do about this, though? I don't know. 
Like I'm sure our fans out there probably know some product maybe. And I can rewrap so, that with it. So something. steering wheel fix and repair kit or something. Oh. There. Heat quench, baby, does it every time. I didn't think it was gonna happen, but it did. Let me see that air hammer. Thanks, buddy. Hey, Ron. Terrell fan Ron gave me this quick connect with my air hammer. Thanks, Ron, if you're watching. I know you're watching. I can see you. I can see you staring at me. Quit, don't, don't look at me. Don't make eye contact. Look away! All right, can I put my parts away now, Slippers? Yeah, go on back to what you're doing. Gee, hey, I got real work to do. Thanks for helping me out, buddy. I'm playing around some toy tractor right out of like in a record set. What? All right, I think that about does it for part one, so. I bought one RJ and then ended up with two, thanks to Jordan. And now I pretty much got the first one I want to restore, all stripped down. Gonna have to heat this stuff up and straighten it out, and then strip the rest of it down, and then have my boy Jeffy start powder coating stuff. And I think for part two, we're gonna tear this transmission apart, see what's in there, see what's going on. So I might need a little help from my buddy Terrell. Don't tell him that yet. He might get mad. Okay. Fucker! Hey, what's up? I hope you're gonna clean this mess up you made. Yeah, yeah. I was just uh, concluding part one, and then I was gonna clean up. You know. I got customers' mowers that gotta be worked on Monday morning. Okay. Well, I'm gonna wrap it. And I can't fix customer stuff if you got all your crap in my way. All right. Well, uh, I'll clean everything up and get it all out of your way, all right? Yeah, it better be. I'm, when I come back, this all better be cleaned up. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it right now, all right? Or somebody's gonna be laying on the ground with a hammer in their head. Oh, great, just like I didn't want. Yeah, well, that's the motivation to clean up. Well, I'm motivated now. I was yeah, gonna clean up that you would buy it once to get you to clean up. Oh, great. Ah, oh, terrible. <laughs> he loves me, I love him. So anyways, part two will be on the transmission. And I still gotta figure out what kind of engine I'm gonna put in this baby too. So maybe we'll get to that in part two as well. We'll maybe figure out what we're gonna do for an engine. All right, well, thanks for watching part one. It was fun, quite a little journey. And like I always used to say, there's your supper. <laughs>